Hey guys, I want to talk a little a little about the whole twin flame and kundalini experiences. Because after having gone through them myself and experienced very opposite effects of what you hear many of these new age bullshit gurus talking about. I'm not saying I don't believe that the twin flame experience is real because I learned a lot from that piece of shit. But from the people I actually know personally that have been on that journey, it was an ultimate love and beautiful fucking shooting rainbows out your ass shit. It was pain and it was a lot to learn. This these fucking twin flame gurus, like, I could say, I could name so fucking many of them. They're like, it's so much love and blah, blah, blah. Fuck y'all. In my opinion, in my experience, along with the experience of people I know personally, the twin flame journey is a journey of self, a journey of learning your own boundaries, a journey of learning how to love yourself, how to say no to bullshit, because that's all I ever got on my twin flame journey was bullshit, and I kept letting this Piece of shit. Sorry, it's judgmental. But this person is a horrible person. And he hurt me more than anybody could ever hurt me. And I kept going back because I was like, my twin flame I love him so much and I still love that dumb fuck but I will never go back because this twin flame journey is about learning how to say no how to put up boundaries and say no more. I have seen so many posts and pages and all this of people just like, oh, I just want to be with my twin flame. Where most of these poor people are being abused. And I was abused. And I kept going back because I kept listening to this fucking bullshit that when I first discovered the whole twin flame journey. It's like, oh, it's my ultimate love. No, honey. That's not your ultimate love. It's your ultimate teacher. You may love that person. You may have a kundalini awakening because of that person, which I did. <laughs> There's so many people around the world that do meditations and yoga and all kinds of shit to awaken their kundalini. No, nah, just because of this motherfucker, my kundalini just exploded. 
And I'm really not sure if that's a good thing. I talk shit about a certain person, Tony Sayers. Sorry. But, um, from a few of his videos, I've taken in information because that's just, I'm just a. My brain just absorbs everything. And sometimes, yes, it takes me a while to process information into describable vocabulary. And some of this, no, I cannot still put into describable vocabulary, but, um, you know what happened when my kundalini truly awakened? Well, the first time, I'm not gonna put that on here, but it was, uh, during a intimate act. But every subsequent experience after that was excruciating. Kundalini awakening, I'm really not sure if it's a good thing. I still have some more looking in to do, but my body contorted in impossible ways, and I was in so much fucking pain, and I was speaking in tongues, and... I don't think that's a good thing. And you have all these people that spend their lives trying to awaken their kundalini. Where mine, because of the twin flame, woke on its own. Continued to have experiences after that. It was not good. It was painful. And yeah, maybe it did help my psychic abilities, but I would not want anybody to experience what I experienced. Like, I was pretty much a fucking human pretzel, unable to control my bodily functions, and just speaking in tongues, and on fire, and like, a lightning bolt went through my body. I'm just, I, I, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. So, I'm just expressing to maybe somebody that might be listening that the Twin Flame Journey is bullshit. Kundalini Awakening, I'm not sure, is safe. And... Yes, I have been a dick, but now I'm going to have my chakras removed because I've done a little research into it and Tony Sayers 
offers a service and I'm going to do it because I've had too much going on. I have now discovered a power where I can literally fucking burn demons to ash. So, I no longer want the leash. I don't give a fuck if you people think I'm nuts. I really don't give a fuck. I have thought I've been crazy my whole goddamn life. And I have had medical professionals tell me I had magical thinking and lock me up and tie me to beds and give me the fucking ass juice. Or I've always had one foot here and one foot there. I think that's just what I am. And now that I've discovered what I'm truly capable of, where they've tried to kill me my whole life, I think that deserves some more introspection. So anybody questioning the twin flame journey and if you should pursue your masculine or whatever fuck them seriously you are worth more than that that piece of shit does not deserve you mine definitely doesn't he never did but I couldn't stop loving him, so I let him treat me like shit. And all these motherfuckers are like, Err, be with your twin flame. Fuck them. All those motherfuckers want is your money. They ain't gonna do shit. Kundalini awakening? I honestly cannot give you a definitive answer on that because the first one was fucking orgasmic the ones after that hurt so I don't know if it's good but I recommend all of you look into chakra removal so that you take the fucking leash off of you that these entities hold on to you. Yes, I have a physical implant. Not sure what to do with that. But if they don't have a hold on my energetic body, then I can be free. So... Hope you're happy with this, Tony. Because... Always ask questions. Never take anything at complete face value. Always ask questions. My mind is just a huge fucking why. It's all I do is why. Sadly, I have to take Xanax. It's the only thing that allows me to sleep because my mind is just always fucking talking. But anyways, rant over.